KPIs, or key performance indicators, are one of the most efficient ways of measuring maintenance results. They help ensure smoother operations and are also a powerful ally in work management. Ultimately, they become a competitive edge for companies looking to grow in the market. Managing maintenance is all about creating and overseeing these KPIs, which serve as the foundation for decision-making and strategy alignment. That data precisely tells you how well a specific process is performing. In this video, we'll go over how to access the main maintenance KPIs on the Traction platform. Once you're on the platform, head over to the Reports tab. Here you'll find various management-focused reports. All of these stem from the work orders that technicians filled out during their tasks. Something crucial to note is always setting the period you want to view in your reports. Here you can set it, for example, for 30 days, 7 days, or even create and set a specific date range. Another important feature is that you can set how often the reports will automatically be updated, like every five minutes, one minute, or even up to 60 minutes. The initial graphs and reports you'll get are related to quantitative work orders. So if you set a 30-day period, you'll see how many work orders were created and completed in that time, as well as visualizing how many work orders were preventive and corrective every single month. The corrective ones are work orders for reactive measures originating from requests made by operators. You'll also be able to check the status of these work orders, like those not yet started, those already underway, paused or on hold. Additionally, you'll be able to sort your work orders by priority, low, medium, or high for instance. You will also be able to view a KPI for operative versus non-operative assets. The ones in operation are those that do not have a parent asset nor a corrective or reactive work order currently on hold or in progress. The non-operating ones have at least one corrective work order on hold or in progress. When creating work orders, it's important to assign a category to them like corrective, preventive, or an inspection. From there, you'll also be able to view your graphs by category. You'll see how many corrective work orders you have in the period you set and the time you spent on them, for instance. That's how you'll be able to discern which type of maintenance is being performed most frequently and the time you're investing in it. As I mentioned, all the charts TrackOS provides stem from the information filled out in the work orders. The next chart TrackOS provides relates to the tags you created on the platform and the reasons behind work delays. So, for example, if you put a work order on hold because the technician needs to take a part from inventory, you'll be able to see how much time you spent on this delay. The same goes for tags. Now, we're entering the main KPIs sector. Here you'll be able to see availability, reliability, MTBF, MTTR, and MTTA. Let's discuss MTTR first. This KPI stands for Mean Time to Repair. It essentially measures how long it takes to repair a piece of equipment, so the lower the MTTR, the better. To calculate it, you have to divide machine downtime by the number of failures in a given period of time. In this case, downtime stands for the time the machine was not running due to a failure, and it can be calculated based on the creation date of a corrective work order until the moment it was completed by the technician. Next is MTBF, which is mean time between failures, or the time when the equipment was running smoothly between two failures. So the higher the result, the better. To calculate it, simply divide the machine's uptime or operating time by the number of failures reported during that period. To calculate a machine's uptime, we need two variables. The total time period, we'll consider 24 hours of operation, minus the downtime, which is the time the asset or machine was not running. On the platform, the total time period counts from the moment an asset is created in the asset tree to the end of the established period for the entire calculation of this KPI. For example, the 30 days you set at the top of the reports tab. The third KPI is MTTA, which stands for mean time to action. Basically, when a maintenance request is opened until the corrective work begins. To calculate it, divide the total time for corrective work orders by the number of reported failures. Number four is reliability, which represents the likelihood of your asset not failing within a specific period of time. Let's say 100 days. The reliability period shouldn't be confused with the platform's reports period. The reliability period represents the number of days we'd like the equipment to remain operational. For example, if the reliability period is 100 days and the reliability is 20%, we should read this as, there is a 20% chance that this asset will go the next 100 days without any failures. So, it's important to adjust the time period within the reports when obtaining your indicators. 
And the last KPI I will go over today is availability. This one measures the percentage of time a particular piece of equipment was in operation for. To calculate it, simply divide the MTBF by the sum of MTBF plus MTTR. In addition to all these indicators I've shown you, you'll also be able to see the number of failures and the time spent on each of them. You'll also be able to see the number of inspections that were carried out and the time it took to complete all of them, as well as checking if they're up to date or delayed. A section specifically dedicated to analysis of overall maintenance time and cost for the period can be found here as well, along with your reports grouped by assets and users, showing how many preventive and corrective actions each asset had during that month and how many each technician performed. Oh, and by the way, all of these reports will be available to export and print out so you can have them at hand in a variety of different formats. All of these reports update automatically on the Traction platform every time a technician fills out a new work order. And if you want to learn more on how to get maintenance cost reports on the Traction platform, here's a video that explains that in detail.